Hello all you YouTubers, this is Wallington Filming. Today I'm going to show you how to gloss a staircase. Uh, the procedures of where you start and how you finish. And also a little trade secret. So keep watching. So first of all, I'm just going to show you how to gloss this small section of the stairs. Uh, what we start off by doing is giving it a light rub down, dust off any, any remove any dust with a dust brush. Uh, and after the trick is to just run your hand over the handrail, that will make sure there's any dust come off that. Uh, first of all, where we start, when we start glossing the staircase, we gloss these null posts first, the handrail and underneath, onto the spindles a section and uh, gloss the bottom row. Then we proceed to gloss the spindles. Uh, these particular ones are square, but you can also get oval ones, fancy ones, etc. So let's get started. I've got my scuttle here with uh, some gloss in it and the children's brush. So we'll start off by doing this null post here. Start up around the top. So I've actually done part of this stairs around the side, so this is just for the benefit of you guys. And as you can see, I'm going up and down, up and down on the glass work. At the bottom, I'm careful not to pick up any dust off the floor with a brush, so bear that in mind. Okay, so when you go up and down, that's called laying it off. Make sure you're trying to get as an even coat as possible. Okay. So that's that, that little post there done. Let's do this, finish this end one off. Now most people when they think about undercoating or glossing their stairs, the end of the world at all. But the only thing that makes a staircase a bit more depressing is all the spindles. So I'm just going to top this out and I'm putting a fair bit on because obviously I'm going to have to keep going back on it to make sure because it, it tends to start sagging down this this lip here. spindle by brush but this is a new build property and uh, well, as we say time is money so the quicker we can get it glossed or whatever glossed and coated the better I mean this is just a small portion of the stairs the staircase is like on two levels, so there's quite a lot of stairs to do in this particular house. Like I say, as you can see, I've 
fill in the gap, little gaps up if there is any with the gloss. Coming down the spindle. So I dip the brush in, bang it on the saws like that. That just removes any excess gloss so I don't get any dripping all over my hands or on the floor. If you're doing one in your own house, you'll have to probably put a sheet down, but like I say, this is a new property. So I don't really have to worry about getting any excess of paint on the floor. Right, so that's that side. I'm just going to go around and do the side. First of all, I'll pick that hammer out at the top. See, I'm having to balance on one of the null posts at the bottom. But uh, don't try that at home because if you fall off, you'll break the leg. Right, so that's the back of that hand rail. Tops of the you have to keep checking these for for run, especially on, underneath this knoll and the top of the spindles, you'll get it running down. Just do that top bit of the spindle. Don't worry about the rest of it. You keep running your brush across these and rail. The more it dries, the less it's likely to start sagging, sagging down. Okay, so that's the top section. Now I'm going to hit the bottom. So I'm just going to climb on me up. Do that bit of a lip there. I'm just doing the back of the spindle coming up a bit, the sides of the spindle. These videos are quite handy for anybody just coming into the building trade or construction trade. Quite educational. I mean, I do painting every day of the week, especially on new plots. So you get used to painting these etc with a bit of speed I mean don't over 
Don't overload your brush with gloss. You don't want it like literally dripping all over the place. Right, so that's your normal posts glossed. Just check for runs under here, around them bits there. And now I'll check out for runs. Just check the side. Post glossed hand rail underneath, a little bit, little way down the spindles. Nor post there, the base of the, the spindles there, that tracking. Right, so that's all glossed and been checked for runs. Now, we what we do now is gloss the spindles. So, there's two ways of doing that one is to just do it by brush both sides. The other bear with me. Right. So the other thing is to do it with a, a glossy roller like this. This is a four inch glossy roller and, uh, and roller on. Now then uh, this particular roller, I'll show you now what it got. This is this is a a Dulux microfiber uh, glossing roller, and there's a there's a pack of two there. I think I paid about five pound for these. So these are the, the rollers that you want. Dulux Glosser Microfiber roll, uh, Roller Sleeves. Like I say, there's two there for about a fiver. Uh, the beauty with these is they go straight into gloss and you can roll a door or anything with these and you you will not get any bits out, uh, little, little hair fibers out of these rollers. I mean, ideally, you get one, put it on your, your arm washed out soap and water, spin it out, <coughs> let it dry, and you should be able to put that straight into gloss without having any little hairs on your gloss work. So that's what you need, one of those. Uh, if you can't get it, 
from the Dulux Centre, just try getting them off uh, the internet. But they're the ones you want, microfiber ones. This is one that I've been using continuously. So what I'm going to do is just show you now. Now it's just put a bit on the roller. Don't overload your roller up with it. Okay, so all you've got to do is this. This is a lot, especially if you're in the trade, doing this day in, day out. These are the rollers you want. Which is, there you go, you see, there's nearly one done already. Now one dip in the gloss, and this will this will be about half a dozen of these. You don't want to keep dipping it in your gloss and painting with it. Because you'll be putting too much gloss on your spindle. As you can see. The good thing about the lead roller is it catches the runs at the top. Like I say, if you're, you're in the painting trade, these are the rollers you want. And as I said before, time is money. So the quicker you can get these done, the better. You can also use these roller sleeves on all shapes. Right then. So, all these spindles have been glossed now, uh, front and back. Now, as you as you know, as you, you've seen, I've done these with the with the roller. Now, if you're in the trade, you can leave these just rolled without touching them with a the brush, because you'll get away with that. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention was I, I, I never undercoated these spindles only around the tops and around the bottoms because these have already came, these already came pre-primed. So with glossing with the roller, that is sufficient and it, it, and it will cover uh, to, to a good standard just by glossing these pre-primed spindles. Right, so I've done them with a the roller, so if you're in the trade and you're doing new property, you won't need to lay them off if you don't want to. Now, if you're doing this at home, you might just as well lay them off. So once you've glossed them with the roller front and back, all you've simply got to do is go quickly over with a with brush, like that. That will give it a more shinier finish than just leaving it in a roller finish. But as I've said, if you're in the trade, you'll get away with that, just rolling them without laying them off. So just laying them off, when you've rolled them, all you've got to do is go up and down, down and up, like that, front and back. All this is glossed. So that's basically how you gloss a staircase. Um, so anyway, it's warranted filming, trade secrets, how to gloss a staircase. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all secrets uh, in the painting trade. And um, don't forget to leave a comment, that will be much appreciated. Okay, thank you.